Buhari's second billion dollar heist. Break it up. My name is Ofiong Ofiong Akwa. Yesterday, Nigeria's foremost newspaper this day had the following headline, and I'll quote, President Muhammadu Buhari has given approval for the release of $1 billion from the excess crude account, ECA, to fight the rising spate of insecurity across the country. That was the headline. In this day, the most popular paper in the country. This heist and coordinated thievery is once more, ladies and gentlemen, from excess crude oil account. This is from crude oil produced in Niger Delta states with a quiet boom leading the group. Casino Sokoto contributed nothing to this effort. Nothing. Think about this. The Northeast, where this money will be supposedly spent to defend from terrorists, has contributed nothing. This is the same region on the North that has billions of dollars of oil block owners. People like Ahaje Indeme owning billions of dollars of oil blocks. Please tell me that this is not parasitism on steroids. Why not take the money from Indeme? Why not take the money from these people? Why rob poor Akwaibom or Niger Delta indigents who suffer from the effects of oil exploration of their own money? Akwaibom, for example, does not have a single oil block owner. Not a penny of this $1 billion will reach Ibno or Eket or the waters where most of this oil is produced. Late last year, the National Economic Council meeting presided over by Vice President Yemi Osin Bajo on December 15, 2017, gave the federal government the nod to withdraw $1 billion from the $2.31 billion balance in the excess crude account. According to them, I'll quote, to fight insurgency in the Northeast. So that account is now almost empty. They've withdrawn $2 billion out of the $2.31 billion that was responsible for this account. What type of irresponsible security and economic management of the country is this? Why is the present Nigerian Northern-run government behaving like this? I will now quickly mention parts of a press release that was issued three days ago by the National Christian Elders Forum. This forum is led by elite types. You know I'm not in love with elite. But it's led by elite types like Solomon Ashemota, SAN, retired General Joshua Dogonjaro. This group called on Nigerians to defend themselves against the complicity of security forces and Islamic terrorists in the country. This is from uh, Gerard Joshua Dogonjaro. The public statement, this particular public statement from this group, is finally putting a seal on the long-known conspiracy between the Islamists who populate the current federal administration and Islamist insurgents who perpetually terrorize the country. There is a complicity. All the key positions, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. All the key positions, I'll name them. Minister of Defense, Minister of Interior, State Security Services, Police, Customs, Immigration, Office of National Security Advisor, the Army, Civil Defense, Prisons. All of these are held for the most part. When I mean the most part, I mean at least 90% by Muslims from the North. Let me give you my take on this. And I will speak in simple plain English language. The additional money, this additional $1 billion, essentially heisted a few days ago, is from the sale of oil from Niger Delta states. Let's get this clear. They call it excess crude themselves. That's where they got this money from. There is almost not a single person from any of these areas that produce crude oil that run any of these security agencies. None. There is not a single person from the areas that produce all this money that have been awarded defense contracts to spend the 20 billion dollars beginning from last year december to these past few days where this money was withdrawn nobody from that part of the country will see one cobble 
Think about this. This is more than 800 billion naira, approaching 1 trillion naira, ladies and gentlemen, all belonging to elites from the north. Buhari simply sat down. He simply sat down with his northern elite civilian military generals. This ethnic jingoist and some few collaborators from the southwest and a sprinkling from one or two parts of the country to empty the country's treasury in case they lose the 2019 election. That's what they did. That's what they did. I asked them to contradict me. Think about this. In less than two years of Buhari's reign in government, two and a half to three years, he has mortgaged us all. He has borrowed billions of dollars and he borrows his money against Niger Delta crude, not against anything in Katsina or Kaduna. From Niger Delta crude, that's the collateral. He's borrowed his money from Chinese to purportedly build railroads for the whole country. But what do you think he ended up doing? The only railroad that we have all seen is the one he has built from Niger Republic to Katsina, which is an ancestral land. Buhari has staged the mysterious Damchi girl abduction as a pretext to pilfer this excess crew account. He has a very long throat for this excess crew account. Him and his northern ethnic jingoist. All developmental indices, ladies and gentlemen of the country, including even Transparency International, Buhari used to boast about, all of them continue to trend negatively. Transparency International scores Nigeria lower than the good luck regime, which is supposed to have been the bad government, according to Buhari. I'm of the view that all of this is being done because the northern elite feel that Nigeria is going to break up into different countries sooner than later. They feel that. Their own policy encourages it. There you go. They want to empty the country before the country is broke up. I urge all of you, according to Dan Juma, to resist this rush to bankrupt Nigeria, to submission. Resist it. Fight back against Fulani hitmen murderers. Fight back against northern elite cleaning out the national treasury. Fight for your rights. Get up. Fight for your rights. The Nigerian security forces, according to General Teofilos Danjuma, one of the most decorated soldiers in the history of Nigeria, he said the military will not defend you. The Nigerian northern run military will not defend you or your families from marauding Buhari's Mieti Allah headsmen. This is from Danjuma. This is not from me. Danjima even said, these people defend only northerners and their fellow Muslims, according to General Teofilos Danjima. So please set up structures. Set up structures to resist the security and economic war started by Buhari and his northern friends. Starting by this northern government before it is too late, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare. Don't sit and be taken by surprise. Enjoy your day. I am Ophiong, Ophiong Aqua. Thank you.